Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Codium Search. Codium Search is a new feature we released recently that allows you to perform natural language search queries on your code base. Currently it's only available for VS Code, although we hope to release it for, few, for more IDEs soon. Now the first step to using Codium Search is to install the Codium extension, and we have a separate video on how to do that. So assuming you have the Codium extension installed, you should see the Codium icon on the left here. And if you click it, you should see this message. Basically, it's telling you that Codium Search is an experimental feature, um, and you currently need to go into your settings to enable it. So if you click this link here, that will take you to the settings page for the Codium extension. And to enable Codium Search, you just need to check this checkbox and then restart. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to reload VS Code. Okay, so once you reload VS Code, you should see two changes. First, in the Codium sidebar over here, you should now see a search box where you can perform searches. And second, in the bottom right corner, you should see a notification saying Codium Search indexing files. So this notification is telling you that Codium is currently looking through all the files in your code base and indexing them. Now this step only needs to be performed once per workspace but it can take several minutes. It's being done on your computer. And so depending on the size of your code base and how performant your computer is, it can take several minutes. Uh, while it's doing that, you're free to, of course, continue using Codium's autocomplete feature and doing whatever tasks you want to get done. You can even perform searches, although if it's not yet fully indexed, it'll only return partial results. And if you feel that uh, Codium Search is not working properly for you and it's taking up too many resources on its CPU while it's indexing, at any point in time, you can go back to your Codium settings, uncheck this checkbox, reload VS Code, and then it will stop indexing all files. We currently don't recommend using Codium Search on code bases of more than a million lines of code because it will take too long to index uh, all the files in your code base. Okay, so it looks like indexing is done for the workspace I have open. I decided to clone the Hugging Face Transformers repository to demonstrate uh, making some search queries. So to actually use Codium, I, all I need to do is type a search query. So I might type, where are the rotary embeddings implemented for GPT-J? And then I press enter. And Codium Search will give me a number of results. In this case, it looks like this result is what I want. So I can click on it, and then it will open up that file and show me that code snippet. Right now, Codium only indexes files of certain languages. So if you go to the info, you can see the list of languages Codium Search currently works on. So it's right now Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, and Go. Although in the future, we intend to support many more languages. There are also some useful tips here about uh, shortcuts for opening the search tab and what types of search results work best. Let's try another search result. I'm gonna search for spaces before punctuation. And once again, Codium Search will try to give me a number of results. This first result here, You'll notice it has this ABC icon in the top right. That's telling me that this is a, an exact search match because this search result has the exact string uh, spaces before punctuation. All the other search results are what we call neural matches, which is using a, uh, an AI-powered search engine to find these results. We also have a past searches um, uh, drop-down menu here where you can see all the past searches you made and uh, select them. So in this case, uh, in the past I searched, how do I train a model I can talk to like ChatGPT and it'll show me the results for that search result. Uh, and it gives me this very relevant result pointing me towards the uh, conversational pipelines part of the Transformers code base. Let's try one more search result. What if I want to find the tokenizer for the llama model? Oh, it 
looks like it found it. So now let's go through some common uh, issues. So if you get an error message saying no search results found, Sometimes that means it wasn't able to find any search results, but the more common cause of that is that you don't have a workspace open. So I have another VS Code window here where I don't have a workspace open. And if I were to enable Codium search uh, and reload the window and make a search query, it will tell me to please open a folder in order to use Codium search. So I need to go in here uh, to the Explorer, open a folder, and then I'll be able to, it'll index the files and I'll be able to perform searches. Okay, I hope you enjoy using Codium Search.